Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel 100 Ideas. Unfortunately, not all owners of private houses have a large plot of land. Despite this, everyone wants to arrange a corner where you can spend time with family and friends, sit alone with your favorite book or a cup of tea, enjoying the surrounding landscape. Gazebo is a building that can bring you closer to nature, give you coziness and comfort. If the plot is small, then you will have to take a bold step, attach a gazebo to a private house. Features and advantages of the combined construction The addition of a gazebo to a private house is an original design idea that has a number of advantages. The attached gazebo can be both open and closed. In the first case, it is enough to protect the interior from precipitation and wind. In the second option, you can equip not only a comfortable dining area, but also a winter garden, a greenhouse or a full-fledged living room. If the gazebo is spacious, then you can install a barbecue, but you need to take care of the presence of not only a chimney and thermal insulation, but also a solid foundation. The bearing wall of the gazebo will be made by the wall of the house, which will save money. It is most convenient to attach the gazebo to the wall, where there are window or door openings. It is also good if there are flower beds and garden trees nearby. The gazebo is a compact building, which on one side will be reliably protected from the vagaries of the weather. For decoration, you can use both classic details, wood carving or forged elements, as well as modern materials or indoor plants. The project of a gazebo attached to the house In order for the attached gazebo to be not only beautiful but also reliable, it is important to make a project. Before starting construction work, it is necessary to determine such nuances. Calculate the size of the gazebo. As you know, 4 square meters are enough for a comfortable stay for one person. If three people are planning to rest in the gazebo, then the area should be 10-12 square meters, etc. While the height of the gazebo should be at least 2 meters. Determine the type and the characteristics of the soil, which is important for laying the foundation and determining its type. Decide whether there will be a fireplace, a barbecue or a summer kitchen in the gazebo. Choose the type of construction, open or closed. Experienced architects offer removable glazing, which will make it easy to turn an open gazebo into a closed one, and vice versa. Tools and materials for the construction of an attached gazebo in order to build a gazebo, it is better to use environmentally friendly and durable materials with low weight, good performance characteristics. In addition, the materials must be accessible and easy to install. As a result, the main material used for the construction of an attached gazebo is wood. Using timber, boards and slats, it is easy to make a beautiful gazebo, but it is important to carefully protest the wood using means that protect the building material from moisture and insects. Also for construction, you will need a concrete mixture, sand, cement and gravel, and metal pipes. The frame of the gazebo can be made of wooden beams, polymer or steel pipes. Mandatory structural elements anchor bolts and nails, metal corners and screws. As a floor covering, various materials can be used, for example, wood or paving slabs, granite or concrete. The floor of an open gazebo is better made with materials resist to aggressive environmental influences. Wooden boards are more suitable for an enclosed gazebo. As for the roof, a strong wooden frame and a crate are needed for its arrangement. The rafters are treated with special antiseptics and refractory agents. It is better to use the same roofing materials as the main building. It is also important to have the following tools at hand – a hammer and a screwdriver, a shovel and a tape measure, a construction level and a circular saw, a concrete mix mixer. Is everything ready for construction? Then we proceed to the construction of a beautiful gazebo attached to the house. 
There are dozens of nuances in the construction of the gazebo attached to the house, including the location and size of the plot, the appearance of the house and the materials used. Of course, all this depends on the specific case, so we will consider only basic recommendations that allow you to build a beautiful gazebo. You need to start work with soil preparation. To do this, marking is made on the selected side using pegs and ropes, after which they proceed to creating the foundation. If the house and gazebos are being built at the same time, then a ribbon foundation is used. A trench is being dug along the entire perimeter of the future extension with a depth of up to 0.4 meters. The formwork is being installed. A cushion of gravel is created, which is poured with concrete. However, in most cases, the owners of the plot decide to attach a gazebo after the construction of housing, which means it is better to equip a columnar foundation. Pits are dug in the corners and perimeter of the building, as well as in the places where there will be floor beams. Crushed stone and sand are poured into the bottom of each of them. A reinforcing mesh is laid on top, and the sand is filled with water. Roofing material is laid on the bottom of the pit. Concrete or brick pillars are installed. Wooden formwork is being installed. The structure is filled with concrete. After three weeks, you can proceed to the next stages of construction. The frame of the building is better made of wood. A lower building of beams is installed on the foundation. Installation of a diagonal bundle. The walls are being forced out. It is better to use metal corners for connection. Installation of the upper bind of the structure. After that, you can move on to the roof of the gazebo, which is also made of wooden beams and boards. The prepared roof can be connected to the frame. The rafters should extend beyond the frame by 30-50 cm. The optimal slope angle is 10-15 degrees. The type of grade depends on the roofing. For example, for a soft roof or slate, you need to make a solid crate. We hope this video was useful to you. Like it, write your comments and subscribe to our channel.